Namaste, oracles. You're in the right dimension at the right time. A place where stock market ideas turn into stock market cash. You are now one with the Oracle of Ohio. This is the Oracle of Ohio. It's Sunday, June 28th, and we are here to talk about the Yeezy brand, Kanye West and Gap. So tonight is our second installment, our second episode of Crystal Ball Stocks, also known as Stocks from the Crystal Ball. I'm still not sure what I'm going to call it yet. Crystal Ball Stocks seem to fly off the tongue well, but then again, Stocks from the Crystal Ball also might be there. Anyways, it's our second episode. It's a good one tonight. I really like this one. It actually came into my crystal ball. I saw Kanye's face on Wednesday night and I had no idea. I'm like, why am I looking at Kanye? What's going on in the crystal ball tonight? So you have a new song coming out? Wait a minute. This is a stock market show. Why would he be showing in the crystal ball? So anyways, here's our big news. Kanye West and his Yeezy brand are teaming up with Gap. This news exploded on Friday. Here's the official press release from Gap. Bold partnership will bring Yeezy apparel to the people with the new Yeezy Gap line. Kanye West and Gap relationship comes full circle as a visionary creative and cultural icon returns to disrupt the fashion retail world. And if any, if you know anything about Kanye, that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. I just want to say, I, I love Kanye West. I love his music. When he called himself a genius, I don't think he's wrong. He is a genius. No one can be as successful as he is in all these different arenas without talent. And I do believe Kanye is a genius. In fact, I throw him up there with Elon Musk. If you listen to my show, you know I love Elon Musk. I actually throw Kanye up there. Kanye comes in, I think, on the cool side of the genius spectrum. He, What he's looking to do with his brand and, and where he wants, the industries he wants to get into, I also believe could make our life better. He is ridiculously creative. He's got amazing ideas. And he's cool. Like, come on, he's married to Kim Kardashian. Listen, think of what you want of him and think of what you want of the Kardashians. But to say that they aren't monsters, you're crazy. You're totally crazy. So the reason I like this so much is because I like Kanye that much. And if you didn't know, he's married to Kim Kardashian. So let me give you a little perspective on just how gigantic and relevant they are. So the Kardashians have had a show. Keeping Up the Kardashians has been on E! for, I think, probably like 10 to 20 years. You tell me another show that's essentially a reality television show that has been that that has been running that long on television and is still as cool and as relevant as it is today. In fact, let me rephrase that. They're cooler today and get cooler every year they go than their years before. I see the influence that Kim Kardashian and her sisters have on 18-year-old girls. I mean, they are gigantic celebrities and have gigantic influence over pop culture in the United States. Probably, I take that back, the world. So that's obviously who Kanye's wife is. Kim and Kanye are a, a, are a match made in heaven. I mean, they, they, there couldn't be two souls that, that are more match for each other than those two. So to put things in perspective, I tried looking at it before this video. I actually don't know if Kanye has social media, so correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, I know he has a Twitter, but it looks like a couple years ago in typical Kanye fashion, he he deleted them all in in some kind of a in some kind of a protest. I'm not sure, but Kanye's Twitter has 29.2 million followers as of June 28th. Okay. Doesn't look like Kanye has an Instagram, but Kanye's wife has 65.5 million followers on Twitter. And Kim's following on Instagram, which is arguably the most important social media source, if you will, has 177 million followers. Now, if you think for a second that the, Con the West clan and the Kardashian clan sisters, all of them will not be supporting this venture 
you're crazy. There is so much media and marketing power behind this that I just don't see how it, how it, uh, could fail. Um, so looking back into this, talking about it here, the other thing that I think that's kind of interesting is that Kanye apparently worked as a teen at a gap store in Chicago. So that's kind of cool. You know, anyone that, that did something like that and has a relationship like this, I, you kind of feel like it's a little personal. And, you know, I just feel like he's going to care that much more aside from the millions and probably billions of dollars he's going to generate here. So um, really, I feel like Gap should be honored here. This this brings such a spark of life to the Gap brand. And actually, Yeezy shoes and the Yeezy brand, if there is any apparel, I, sh I should know, but I believe there is, it's not accessible. It's not easy to get it. You can't get the shoes. They're always either limited edition or rare or only in major markets like New York or Los Angeles. So the fact that he's doing something with Gap means that the Kim Kardashian, Kanye West style and their whole orbit is coming to a mall or local gap near you. That's kind of interesting. That's very special. And then to go one step further, I'd like to think it's going to be somewhat affordable. I mean, this is this is really going mainstream with this brand. The way they're going to, I, I can't wait to see how they're going to keep the brand as cool as it is while introducing it to the masses through Gap. But if there's anyone that's going to do it, it's going to be Kanye. I, I can guarantee that. So, um, it looks like you're under Kanye's direction. The Yeezy Design Studio will develop the new line to deliver modern, elevated basics for men, women, and kids at accessible price points. Okay, kids. I, I didn't even know that. So we've got kids in the mix here. I mean, you, you know, another thing here. The whole generation that grew up with Kanye, the males that listen to Kanye's music as a rapper, and the females that love the Kardashians, you know, these people are, are likely husband and wives of today who also have kids, all similar age groups. This is the most ideal customer range you're going to want. Probably the 30s age group, early 40s with young kids. I, I mean, I can just see this happening. I can see soccer moms pushing their kids in strollers with Yeezy Gap clothing and Yeezy Gap shoes or whatever. It's, it's just a sure thing. It's a sure thing. Trust me on this one. I worked in the entertainment industry be before I became a fortune teller for the stock market. This is going to be major. Okay. So back to the story here. Kanye West maintained sole ownership of the Yeezy brand, which was recently valued at $2.9 billion. Gap maintains sole ownership of Gap brand. The new apparel partnership furthers the size and scope of the Yeezy business. Okay. Enough on that. That's all I needed to see. Okay. It's it, the news is everywhere. Let's jump over to the gap stock. Okay. Gap, you know, pre COVID was trading around 17, $18 a share. Um, it's not a big heavy hitter. It's not a big heavy hitter. Okay. So, but let's look at the last five days after this news. Okay. So here we go. We're all trading around $10 and then boom, we got a $2 jump on this one. Now, what's really, really wild is look at the average volume here. The average volume was 16 million. News breaks on Friday. We're at 135 million shares. Okay, the reason I like this stock is for, I like it for a swing trade. I like it for a long-term trade and possibly even a short-term day trade. I have no idea what this stock's going to do tomorrow, Monday morning. But as a swing trade, I do like it. And uh, I did take up a small position on it, probably more for long term, because truthfully, I don't, you know, this, this, uh, this brand is launching, let's see, when did they say this is coming? Like, when are we actually going to see product in hand or product in stores? Did they say that? Um... We'll, we'll come back to that. Point be told, I don't know when this is going to actually influence Gap's bottom line other than through stock purchase. Um, 
I don't know when the first products are going to be out there. It was probably on the press relief release we just blasted through, but I don't want to keep you here for 30 minutes trying to search search for that information because I got other stuff I want to cover. And the video, this whole point of this video is me making my case through the crystal ball why I like Gap. Okay, another reason I like Gap, it's twelve dollars. There's not a lot of room here for this to go wrong. Okay, so even if we look at the six month lows, at some point during the 52 week low, Gap was as low as five dollars. Even with the COVID punch, we dropped down to okay, so it was actually from COVID. So COVID knocked it down to five dollars, and then we've been on somewhat of a somewhat of a climb since then as it is as it's been for a lot of other industries too but gap in my opinion was a brand that was starting to fade and and being relevant they're in shopping malls which shopping malls have their own problems um gap just just didn't have that flair anymore when you think about la LL Cool J being, you know, on top of his game and Gap commercials as I was growing up. I mean, Gap was cool. You had celebrities regularly in their commercials. Gap's just kind of faded a little bit. It just it's like who are they? They're they're far from relevant today. And they're just kind of in an autopilot. And you can see that here with the with the with the um the revenue. Now, it's not like this revenue is terrible. You know, 15 billion, six, 15 billion, 16 billion, 16 billion. However, it's it's just cyclical. It's just staying in the same same pattern. You know, there's just there's no pizzazz. There's nothing new coming. There's no flair. There is just the same story. And what I don't like about the same story in today's climate with COVID and the financial crisis that we're kind of in the middle of right now and how retail's changing something like gap gap can easily vanish from our lives just as quickly as it got here so shouldn't say it got here quickly from years ago it's just this brand needed some fire and i'll tell you what they got that fire with kanye west the yeezy brand put a stamp on it june 28th I like this stock. Again, I don't know when we're going to actually see the financial impact of Yeezy because the product needs to get out there. It needs to get in stores. We need the marketing. So, you know, we might be talking more about a long-term play here. However, I can promise you that once Yeezy product is in store and it starts selling, that first earnings report is going to see above $16 billion. I can promise you that. As long as they have it in stores and as long as they have it available, um, Kim Kardashian is going to make sure 177 million of her followers are aware of it. Uh, and if they didn't hear about it on Instagram, 65.5 million are going to hear about it on Twitter. And then if they didn't hear it, Kanye's 29.2 million followers on Twitter are going to hear about it. Okay. That's why we like it. Moving along. I'm going to continue to make my case here for Kanye. So Kanye has already tested the waters here with the Yeezy brand. He has a partnership with Adidas, and to my understanding, it's strictly shoes for now. Um, Yeezy's brand was expected to top $1.5 billion in revenue in 2019. That's before COVID started to affect things. That's, 50, that's a 50% increase from 2018 per Bank of America. Bank of America values the Yeezy sneaker brand alone at $3 billion. Think about those numbers now. That's just sneakers. That's how much impact and influence this person and this family. And I, I hate to keep throwing Kim into this because Kanye is a story. Kanye is who I'm trying to talk about, but they're a unit. You don't get Kanye without Kim and you don't get Kim without Kanye. They are a mega force. And they're going to help each other on this one, and they're going to support it. And don't be surprised if one of the Gap brands sees some kind of connection to Kim Kardashian. Um, I'm pretty sure Gap has Old Navy, Banana Republic. Let's see. Who's Gap have? Okay, so Gap's got Old Navy, Banana Republic, Athleta, and Hill City. Don't be surprised if you see... Kim somewhere in this mix, you know, because I think all she has to date in the, in the, in the realm of clothing is skims, which is just underwear, I believe. 
So imagine if she has the power to do something with the Gap brand. Um, looking at Google Trends, Gap, this is their search interest over the past few years, past five years. Now Google doesn't doesn't share with the Oracle all of their uh, insider information. This is the best we're gonna get, but you could just see it again, just like the stock, blah, nothing, no pizzazz. Um, again, I worked in the entertainment industry before I was a fortune teller, like I said, and I love celebrity partnerships with anything, okay? Any music celebrities, movie stars, they just have so much influence and power in society. And if you're a brand that's lucky, lucky enough to have one with you, I mean, they just, they can really, really re you know rebrand you and you know take you from being a loser brand to something cool and really put revenue revenue new revenue on the bottom line so um i mean look at this guy look at kanye he went out and bought a, a two ranches in cody wyoming i i think i had heard in one this is a great article by the way this G, gq article check it out but i think he said something like he has 4500 acres okay look at this guy this guy is a success and he's he's apparently going to put his yeezy campus out here i believe everything he's gonna do i i don't i don't uh i don't think he's a joke like a lot of people do. And I don't think he's a fool. I honestly think he's a genius. I think the only reason we don't see everything that the man says he's going to do is two reasons, money and execution. And it's not for the lack of the, of the genius or the creativeness of it. It's just, I'm sure it's just getting to it and doing it just on like Elon Musk. Elon Musk probably has 30 ideas that someone could hopefully get to you know it's like either money or whatever people like them have to also focus to be a success but Kanye has just laid out this vision that I was looking into about a campus and maybe even a town like look at this this is he's working with architects so yeah you might be hearing this and thinking are you out of your mind he's a lunatic and he likes Donald Trump but we don't do that here because at the Oracle of Ohio we're all about love and we're all in this world together. And people like Kanye make life better. And they make it interesting. And I'm a, I'm a fan of this buy. I like Gap. I'm not telling you, the Oracle is not telling you to buy this stock. I just want you to know that the crystal ball is not telling you to buy this stock today or tomorrow. I am telling you to keep an eye on this stock. Keep an eye on this. Set some Google alerts for some news. Some exciting things are going to happen here, and I I think I think something's gonna is is something interesting is gonna happen with this. I like this story. I like seeing a celebrity working with a brand like this in today's climate, with malls going down, with retail just getting shit on at every corner. We all just want to buy stuff off websites. We don't want to go outside. It's getting ridiculous. Now I like that I could possibly go into a mall that's possibly going out of business and know that Kanye West clothing is going to be there. You know, let's 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 have a little bit of a connection to our past. Not let's let's just not shut down everything we do, you know? This is a good thing. This is a good thing. There's going to be some really cool clothes for you to wear here. And you're going to be able to get it at your local mall, if not your local Gap store. So keep an eye on this. Again, I really love it. Gap, Yeezy. I think this one's going to be a winner.